That's nearly mauve. Nearly mauve? Nearly mauve, not quite. Some of you have asked how I get ready and the makeup that I like to use on myself. So I've put together a quick tutorial to show you some of my favorite products and techniques that I do on myself for my everyday basic makeup. So first of all, I love to use a tinted moisturizer or a BB cream just all over my face. I, um, I kind of don't use foundation that much anymore. I like using really lightweight products and then just going in with concealers and brighteners and um, a bit of highlight and contour and stuff. And then I'll just go around my face with this, just kind of like dotting or like cross hatching on any little like blemishes, like here. And I also like to try and keep my cheeks without too much makeup on because I think your natural blush always looks the best. So pretty minimal skin really, just like small touch ups and stuff. And then I might just go under my eyes a tiny little bit with a little bit of a kind of an illuminator like that. And corners of my mouth. And also just up here, like that, sponge it in. I also like to keep under my eyes not too much kind of uh, concealer or brightener because I just feel like that looks a bit hammy. I think it looks much nicer when you have a bit of natural colour under your eye. Uh, but on this outer corner, it's quite good to make it feel quite bright because it kind of, see, it sort of like lifts your eye. So if you work on the outer corner of your eye like that. Eyebrows. So I don't pluck anymore, I just use a razor. So this is a little Revlon razor. And um, I basically just trim the hairs with a razor. I like to make my eyebrows a tiny bit longer, so I just sort of draw them a little bit here on the outside, like that, just the tiniest amount. My eyebrows are really quite thick, so I don't want to make them any darker, but I might just brush them up and use a bit of brow gel just to kind of hold them in place. This eyebrow pencil is really good for shading your lips. So to kind of make your lips look bigger, you just want to put a bit of a kind of a gray eyeliner or eyeshadow just at the corners like that. You see, I've just created a bit of a shadow there and underneath as well. Kind of gives the illusion of a bigger lip and then a little bit in there. And then I also like to just shade under my nose like that, tiny bit. Makes it like look a bit smaller for some reason. And then I also just do it here underneath the cupid's bow, because that also like brings out the cupid's bow and then a kind of a line down the centre like that. And that's kind of how I, I shape. And then this eye uh, brow pencil again, I'll use for underneath my eye as well. I just feel like working with uh, grey is a really, really good thing for natural makeup. So I'll just do a little bit at the corner and then in the inner corners of my eye, I'll just go underneath the kind of the bit that I'm, you know, I would highlight to again create that kind of that kind of effect. So that's the the eyebrow pencil that goes very long way. And I'm going to add a little bit of highlighter just above it again, just to give that kind of that idea of, of depth. I love this product. It's by Sizzly, and I just love it so much. It's like a really like watery, beautiful product. Um, and I like to just tap that into my cheekbones like that. Really nice, blend seamlessly in, and then I do a little bit down my nose. So that highlighter is a little bit difficult to get into the inner corners, so I'll just use a powder highlighter, just there, and just sort of tap it in. And then I'll also just bring it across my eyelid. I like to take a nude pen now, Maria Carla Boscano um, kind of told me, or you know, she does this, quite a lot and I, she's reminded me how good it is to uh, open up your eyes. So I just put it on the waterline and just allow it to sort of sink in and after a while it sort of sort of disappears but it does make your eyes feel a lot more open. And then I will do some eyeliner. So I love the Burberry cat liner because it's, uh, it's sort of like a very dark brown and um, it's got a really good 
well, it's not even a wand, it's like a kind of a pen, it's like a wet pen. And I always use this uh, to do my cat liner. I basically take it from the outer corner and just like flick it up towards the end of my eyebrow, trying to kind of keep on the same line as my, my waterline. And then I just take it back on itself like that. And I only ever do sort of like the outer quarter of my eye. I never go into the middle because I feel like it closes your eye up too much. So I just do a little bit on the outer corner like that. And then after that, I'll curl my lashes. Curl my lashes a bit. I use Revita Lash, which has made my lashes grow so much. It's absolutely amazing. And then I'll, I'll try not to put too much mascara here or here because I feel like that closes your eye up a bit as well. And I just basically do the outer lashes like that. And I feel like that gives you a much more feline cat eye than doing too much in the in the centre. So then for a bit of face contour, I don't do that much face contour um, because I kind of like keeping it, keeping the face looking quite fresh and youthful. But Kat Von D does a really, really good contour palette. Um, and these are really amazing for sort of every skin tone. This is the one I use, which is just like a pure gray. Got a cream and a white and a shimmery white, which are great for if you want to do like a powder highlight or, um, and, and also this is a really great peachy color to kind of blend the contour into. She really knows what she's doing. Um, so I'll, I'll go for a little bit of gray. I'll just kind of dab it on the back of my hand so I don't load the brush too much. And I basically just work in the sort of, I don't drag it down too much, I just kind of blend just below my cheekbone. Just like a tiny amount, not too much. And then I just do a little bit under the jawline like that. Just to square off your jaw. You know, you can go back to that peachy Kat Von D color if you want to, just for the kind of a bit of a blend, but you don't have to. I don't normally, but I will today because you're watching and it looks like I'm doing more than I normally would. And then for the lips, you've already kind of like done the gray contoury part, uh, but I do like to use a lip liner sometimes. Um, and this is actually a House Labs one. Um, and I'll just kind of go around my lips. It's quite a nice like beige nudey color. Oops. And up again into the I don't go into, up into the cupid's bow, but I'll go just around it. Sort of blend it into the gray that I did before. I've actually started trying this Rare Beauty Selena Gomez um, lip gloss, and it's really nice, because it's very sort of smooth. So it's got a bit of a, a tint to it as well. I'll just pop that on the lips to give them a little bit of a kind of shine. It's not over the top, it's just got a tiny bit of a tint. So thanks for watching. That was my everyday makeup tutorial using some of my favorite products and techniques. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next week.